Welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair if you're new here and today we're gonna do like a Christmas home decor tour. Um, I didn't film while I was decorating. It honestly took me like three days, which is not normal. <laughs> I usually get it all done in one. Um, but I was just tired and really sore and I had to break it up over a few days, which is okay, but it's done. For the most part, I will say it's done. There's still a few things I need. Um, I'm waiting on two pieces of decor that I ordered from Crate and Barrel. I'll tell you where I'm gonna put them when I show you the rest of the house. And then there's just a few places that I'm like, yeah, they might need a little more work and I'll figure that out as we go. But what I'm gonna do is insert some clips first of the exterior of the house, which you saw um, in my previous vlog for Thanksgiving that I did do the outside. So I'll insert those clips of what that looks like here. So now that you've seen what the outside looks like, I'm going to show you the inside. Now I'm doing this before it's fully dark because I want you to be able to see things. Um, but I wanted to wait till it was like dust so that way you kind of can see the Christmas lights as well. So we're going to start from the front of the house and work our way back. So starting with the front door, I just wanted to show you these preserved boxwood wreaths and the red bows that I put on them. They're in all of the front windows and on the door here at the front of the house. Um, I did put these up on Thanksgiving, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of a close-up. Okay, and since I don't typically decorate my office, um, I usually do the spare bedroom, but this year I decided against it because I don't typically have guests around Christmas like I would hope for. <laughs> So I thought I would do a little more decorating in my office and my bedroom this year, the places that I'm in so I can enjoy it. So first off I have this cute little postcard like pillow to Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure I got that at Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something a few years back. And then I just added like a little strand of white lights in here. You can kind of see the reeds that are pointing out to the road. And then over here at my desk I added a little flock tree that I got out of the Target One Stop one year. And then up here I hung a little um, candy cane garland that I got out of the One Stop as well. And then I added a small one wick candle from Bath & Body Works. This one's hot cocoa and cream. And I have a balsam fir one that I'll switch that out with once I burn that down. Starting over here on the side chair, I have the pillow. It says in this house we believe. That came out of the Target One Stop. And then I have this really, really soft, um, like fuzzy blanket that I got from TJ Maxx a few years back. Um, I just put it out every year. And then on this couch, I have these really pretty plaid pillows. And then these, they're like a navy blue with the deer on them. I got these also, I think, from TJ Maxx or Home Goods a few years ago. And then on the back of the sofa table here, um, I added a lighted garland. And then these trees um, and the deer, I actually got at Target a few years back. And I've put this back here like every year. I think it looks really good together. Um, and then this year I decided to go ahead and add a couple poinsettias to add some pops of red because I do predominantly red and white and green in the house. Okay, and then over here on the side window I just added a little light strand. And then in this corner, I got this out of the Target One Stop a few years ago, but it just says snowballs for 10 cents. And then the little, um, like stuffed snowballs. I just think those are really cute. And then over here, we have the TV stand. And I'm just watching White Christmas right now. But the little sign up here, I did get from the Target One Stop last year. Um, this garland thing, I think I got out of the one stop as well. I had it on the wall, I think, last year, but I decided to go ahead and 
put it on the TV stand. And then I just changed my letter board over with a scripture close to Christmas. And then here on the coffee table, I have a red table runner that says believe. I think that was, this is part of like that theme they had the one year with the pillow I had in the side chair over there. And then last year I bought this from Target. I think it's from their threshold line. It's just enough little Christmas greenery. And then I have a candy dish here that looks like Santa's face. This was from the one stop and I just got kisses today that I'll throw in there. And then I'm burning, I think it's called under the Christmas tree candle. It smells really good. And now for the best part, the tree. So to start over here, I have my little fireplace, my little joy stocking hangers, and then I do two smaller stockings, which I think all of that's from Target. The garland is um, from Amazon. It's kind of partially flocked and then it has berries and pine cones in it. And this year I got these little faux birch logs from the Target One Stop. I think they look cute beside the fireplace. And then I have a nutcracker. I have a ton of nutcrackers actually. I have an entire tote full of them. Um, I used to put them all out, but I've started just doing like one each year. Um, there were gifts from my grandma who passed away actually a couple weeks ago. So it's kind of nice to put one out this year again in remembrance of her because she took me to see the Nutcracker when I was like five years old and it just kind of stuck and I love the Nutcracker. <laughs> I love to go see it when I can. And then we have a little sign here that I got at the Target One Stop. And then this um, was like a Christmas craft project I did one year, painted and glittered it myself. And then we got the beautiful tree. So starting at the bottom, uh, the little tree skirt I got out of the Target One Stop. The boxes are actually just fake. I put them under there to make it look nice until I have gifts under. And then this year new, I added these berry picks that I got off Amazon. And I bought one thing of poinsettia like on a stem from Target, or not Target, the dollar store. <laughs> so I cut them off and actually made picks out of them. So I do have those randomly all over the tree. I usually string popcorn, but I don't think I'm going to do that this year. I just, I don't know, I kind of like it the way it looks. And this I thought was absolutely adorable. Our friend got these for us for Christmas and it took, we didn't get them until after Christmas, but they're like customized to kind of look like us. I thought it was really cute. So again, here's the Christmas tree. Over here, just as you're coming into the dining room, I have this mistletoe I got from Target. So I have that hanging in the doorway. And then I added a little light strand around this walkway to the hallway. Back here is the spare bedroom, which like I said, I did not decorate this year. And then in the spare bathroom, of course, um, I have subway art, my favorite to put in the bathrooms. And this time I did add this little faux tree. I still need to change my soaps out to Christmas soaps. And then for right now, I just put this towel here. I'm not sure that's gonna stay. And then hanging off the towel rack, I have some Christmas hand towels. All right, back to the dining room. So up here, I just have a lighted garland. Um, I just put on a red bow. It's got little snowflakes and glitter on it. And then this tablecloth I've honestly had for years, but it's red with snowflakes. This year I decided to try something a little different and I did the bottle brush trees. And then I have all these um, battery operated pillar candles I thought would make it really pretty yet simple on the table. And then I just set it up again um, to look nice. So snowflake napkin rings, I'm pretty sure I got a pure one. Same thing with the napkins. Um, I have a set of four. So I thought that looked really nice together. Mm -hmm. 
And then over here on the side table this year, I decided to keep this really simple because when I host Christmas, which is something I haven't done before with more people than just my two friends, um, I want to be able to put cookies and stuff on this. So I just put down this little table runner, which is plaid with red and green and white. And then this candle set I got at Bath and Body Works, like you put tea lights in it and it um, kind of illuminates the design. Like the green one has trees on it. This one has little deer. And then the white one's got little snowflakes. And then just to kind of tie into the snowflake effect over here, I have little snowflake lights. And then my favorite berry wreath that I finally got this year, I hung up here, which honestly I like it. I think it looks really pretty. It's very simple, but I like that it's simple because as my Christmas cards come in, I actually hang them by mini clothespins all over the chicken wire. So that way it's not too much. Okay, and then in the kitchen here, I have this sign I got out of the One Stop. I just thought it was really cute for five bucks. And then over here, I decided to hang a little wreath um, up above the microwave. Um, that was also out of the One Stop at Target as well as my lovely um, towels here. They look like Santa's belt buckles. Okay, so this is not gonna be the best shot, but um, this is above the kitchen sink here. So I hang this um, kind of lighted garland and then I have uh, this really pretty um, strand of starfish that are painted. Uh, some look like Santa, some are just white, and then we just kind of alternate it back and forth. A friend got me these for Christmas one year because she knows I love the beach, and I just feel like it kind of works well in the kitchen because I have so much pineapple stuff that I don't put away. And then over here, I got these little light up houses. I got these from the Target One Stop. Actually, I'm pretty sure this was too. Um, but I just think that looks really cute. And again, it's simple and clean, which is how I like my kitchen. Okay, so over here, the last part of the kitchen, I have my hot chocolate slash coffee bar. I'm not 100% sure this is gonna stay this way. I kind of feel like it needs to be fixed a little bit. But just to show you what I got here, I have this little Merry and Bright mug that a friend got me. And then I use a jar to keep like my K cups in, which I need to refill, but I've just put this red bow on it so it looks pretty for the season. And then I have toppings, sugar, tea bags, that kind of thing. This hot chocolate bar sign I actually got, um, I think it was from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I have these little Cheers stir sticks that I got at the Target One Stop one year. I put them out for decor so I don't really use them. And then I have this little candy dish. I know this doesn't entirely go, but I wanted a dish to put marshmallows in when I do a company. And I wish I had a red and white striped one, but I don't. So we're making do with what I got. And then I have this set of Be Merry, Be Bright coffee mugs that I use for hot chocolate when I have guests. And this I think I got out of the one stop too, but it's just a clear glass jar with a snowflake on it. I'm gonna fill that up with um, hot cocoa mix. Last year I did K-cups and I did not like them because you have to clean the Keurig like right after so it doesn't mess up the needle. And because I have this beautiful electric kettle this year, I figured powder was the better way to go. And then over here in this basket, I've added these um, throwaway coffee mugs, the sleeves, and then I had some leftover Merry Christmas napkins I found at Hobby Lobby last year. Like I mentioned this year, I wanted to decorate a little more of the spaces I use. So I did put one of these trees in here. I just got these this year from Target. Um, they were in the Christmas section and it was three of them for 10 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for fake trees. And it's very simple, clean, but it works here in the bathroom. Again, I still need to change my soaps out. <laughs> And 
then here in the bedroom, I added another one of those little trees here. I always put um, like a light strand on my headboard. And then we have this merry and bright pillow on the bed and then red plaid. So this is the one that I like to have out. It's extremely soft, kind of like the one in the living room. Um, they're just very hard to wash and keep soft. And with my dog, he likes to lick this style blanket for some reason. So I took his blanket that used to feel this way that got really rough from washing it so much. I put it on top so he doesn't touch it until we get into bed. And then I also changed, well, you can kind of see it here. I have flannel sheets on the bed that have deer all over them. Um, so I put those on the bed for, well, usually the winter, but I start around Christmas time. And then over here, um, I added another light strand by the window. And that strand happens to flow right onto the dresser. So again, we added another little sapling tree. And then I had a couple berry picks left from the tree that I just set in here. Now I ordered um, from Crate and Barrel, they're like um, zinc white deer in two different heights. So I'm gonna set them over here with the berries so it kind of makes them pop because the dresser is white too. <laughs> so I was like, I need a little color. So that's why I put the berry picks here. But when the deer come in this week, I'll put them on the dresser. So the next time I vlog, I'll make sure I show that to you. Okay, and then the final thing I'm gonna show you is on the back door, I have a little door hanger with the bells on it and then this wreath that I've had for who knows how long. Um, but I have that hanging here. I'm just showing you this now because I didn't have it hung up when I did the outside video. So you're not gonna see it in that. So hopefully that gave you a little glimpse into how I decorate my home for Christmas. A little different than last year because I didn't do the spare bedroom like I normally do. And there's a few things that I've changed up and still think I will continue to alter a little bit. But I try to keep things a little simpler this year, I think. I feel like <laughs> I didn't go too crazy or gaudy, <laughs> so we toned it down some. But I definitely don't decorate until Thanksgiving Day. I at least do the outside and then I do the rest of the house the day after, two days after this year. Um, but I hope you enjoyed getting to see my decor. Uh, let me know what you like the most out of it, if anything. <laughs> and if you have any suggestions for the areas I was talking about, like the hot cocoa bar or maybe even the dining room table, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, I hope everybody has a blessed day.